morning. Good afternoon, everyone. I see people from a couple different time zones. So welcome. And I am not the host, uh, but I am here to introduce my postdoctoral fellow. So welcome to the uh, Institute of Neuroimmune Medicine seminar series at Nova Southeastern University. So I'm introducing the speaker today because she is my postdoctoral fellow in Canada, who's uh, working in Canada, where I have an adjunct appointment. I was formerly a tenured full professor at the University of Manitoba for almost 17 years. And I also have a lab and a team at the St. Bonaventure Research Center, and they're actually still working there. So it's really my pleasure today to, uh, to introduce uh, my postdoctoral fellow, Dr. Uh, Marzia Aini, uh, who's working with me on a slightly different project. One of my appointments, in addition to being at the medical school, is that I had an adjunct appointment in biomedical engineering. And because of that, I had done some work uh, and had a master's student rotate through my lab. And we started a project on, on a biomedical engineering related project on mitochondrial function and, and the computer modeling of, of um, mitochondrial function, in particular complex four, and that's what she's here to talk to you about. But I'm really just uh, quite honored to have someone like um, uh, Tamana is what I call her, uh, that's her nickname, uh, working in my lab. She has a bachelor's degree in pure mathematics from Iran. She has another mathematics, uh, another master's degree in pure mathematics uh, in computer science and mathematics. Uh, where she focused on uh, cancer incidence rates. She also received a PhD in mathematics in 2015, and this was this is with high honors. And her, her, her P first PhD was in math, and this was obtained from the Eastern Medical or Eastern Mediterranean University. And then a second PhD at my former school at the University of Manitoba uh, in electrical and computer engineering, which focused on something more. Uh, related to what we work on in my lab with regards to medical imaging, her particular project focused on breast cancer imaging, and she applied waveform and uh, microwave technology to, to accomplish this. So she's really, really uh, highly qualified to the data analysis and medical researcher or biomedical uh, researcher. And today she's going to talk to you more about a special project that we started a couple of years ago, and that's trying to model uh, complex four in the mitochondria. So I'm just gonna hand it over to, uh, to Mana. And so uh, thank you for agreeing to join us today. Hi everyone, thank you so much, Dr. Alvinzi for the warm introduction. Um, I'm Marzia Amy, a postdoctoral researcher at San Boniface um, Research Center um, at affiliated with the University of Manitoba uh, in Canada. And I'm working under Dr. Albensi's mentorship right now. Today, I'm honored to present to you our research on a computational model for mitochondrial electron transport chain bioenergetics with an emphasis on uh, complex four. So throughout this presentation, I will elucidate the computational model. We have developed uh, its underlying principles and insights, uh, and um, it provides uh, into mitochondrial function. To achieve this, uh, I will begin with uh, the introduction, uh, research objectives, followed by an exploration of the necessary uh, biological background for the model. Additionally I, will, additionally, I will demonstrate um, how we translate this biological background into mathematical equations. And furthermore, I will showcase the interface of the GUI designed for this um, model. And lastly, um, I will present some of our key findings and conclude the presentation by discussing future avenues of this research. So firstly, I start uh, with a brief introduction on uh, mitochondrial structure and function. Mitochondria are cellular organelles primarily responsible for biological energy generation in uh, the form of adenosine uh, triphosphate or ATP. Uh, they exhibit uh, a structural compartmentalization with an inner uh, mitochondrial membrane forming the mitochondrial matrix as you can see in this figure, an inner membrane 
space called as uh, IMS between the inner and outer uh, mitochondrial membrane. The inner mitochondrial membrane uh, houses the bioenergetics uh, machinery of the mitochondria, including the electron uh, transport chain, which uh, I will be explaining later. So uh, the electron transport chain, or ETC, is a key component of mitochondrial bioenergetics. Uh, it comprises uh, a series of protein complexes embedded within the inner mitochondrial membrane. As electron passes, uh, these uh, complexes proton uh, transport across the membrane creates an electrochemical gradient. This uh, gradient serves uh, as uh, the driving force for ATP synthesis via ATP synthase, a process known as uh, chemiosmosis. Notably, a molecular um, oxygen um, O2 serves as the final electron acceptor in the ETC, ultimately being uh, reduced to water um, at complex four. So understanding the intricates of the ETC and its role in ATP production is essential for comprehending cellular respiration and energy metabolism. Uh, mitochondria serves as the primary organelles responsible for generating ATP that sells uh, energy currency. This process is essential for fueling uh, various cellular activities and maintaining cellular viability. However, dysfunctional mitochondria are implicated in a myriad of diseases, including um, neurodegenerative disorders, metabolic disease, and aging. Understanding the underlying mechanisms um, of this uh, of uh, mitochondrial dysfunction is crucial for elucidating the um, patho pathology or pathophysiology of this disease and identifying potential therapeutic uh, targets. Moreover, uh, proper functioning of uh, functioning of mitochondria is indispensable for maintaining cellular um, homostatus, regulating metabolism and responding to cellular stress. Research in the, this field not only enhances our understanding of fundamental cellular processes, but also holds promise for the development of novel therapeutic strategies. Um, so by elucidating this intricate, uh, intricacies of mitochondrial function, we can pave the way for development of targeted in interventions to treat mitochondrial diseases and improve overall health outcomes. In this research, our goals are um, to develop a phenomenological computer-based model of mitochondrial respiration, or ETC, emphasizing um, complex four function. Keep the dimensionality of the model small to enable usability with data acquired by bioenergetic assays measuring only oxygen concentration or OCR. Uh, validate the model by measuring OCR using a standard laboratory devices, followed by a comparison with experimental data obtained from dysfunctional mitochondria to assess the model's um, applicability. And lastly, develop a novel uh, graphical user interface or GUI for the GUI, for, for the model, sorry, enabling in silico testing of mitochondrial functioning, uh, manipulations to model parameters, and environmental conditions for supplemental data uh, exploration, fitting the model to existing data for investigating um, um, more insights and hypothesis generation. This objective serves as the roadmap for our research, uh, guiding our efforts to advance our understanding of mitochondrial function and its implication in various physiological and pathological processes. So let's begin with some biological background, uh, which provides us with the necessary information to model mitochondrial uh, respiration. So focusing on the ETC, uh, or electron transport chain, uh, we understand that it uh, comprises four protein, um, uh, protein metal complexes that facilitate 
electron transfer, transfer through um, redox reactions. These uh, complexes include complex one, which is shown here, complex two, complex three, and finally complex four. Additionally, uh, ATP synthase, also known as complex uh, five, is another integral protein functionality linked to this um, process. So let's explore what is uh, the role of complex four in mitochondrial respiration. Uh, protein buildup in uh, the intermembrane space creates a net positive charge, establishing it as the positive um, P side, while the mitochondrial um, matrix becomes the negative or N side. This proton uh, flow back through a proton channel in complex um, five, um, a process known as chemiosmosis is coupled, um, which is coupled to the generation of rotational energy ultimately deriving ATP production. Uh, additionally, um, yeah, you can see the process here in this uh, figure. Uh, additionally, molecular um, oxygen um, acure acquires electron at complex four, which is a critical step in um, ETC functionality. So experimental bioenergetic um, assays measure oxygen concentration, uh, concentration rate or OCR to assess ETC functionality. Uh, it means that a proper understanding of complex four activity is fundamental to mitochondrial uh, bioenergetic investigation. The mitochondrial respiration test uh, is to measure OCR, providing insight into ATP production and ETC integrity. It is crucial for um, studying metabolism and aging and disease like uh, neurodegenerative disorders. So uh, as you can see in this figure, the test in, uh, involves several phases, including the basal respiration, um, basal OCR under normal conditions, um, oligomycin phase, which um, assesses proton leak and non-ATP related OCR, um, FCCP phase, uh, which um, evaluates maximum respira um, respiration or respira uh, respiration capacity, and uh, antimycin A phase, uh, phase which controls uh, for non-mitochondrial OCR um, and completes um, their respiration blockage. Uh, so understanding these phases help in interpreting OCR data uh, accurately. As can be seen, typically uh, OCR decreases in the oligomycin phase due to inhibition of ATP uh, synthase. It increases um, as uh, FCCP uncouples oxidate, uh, oxidative um, phosphorylation allowing protons to freely flow across um, the inner mitochondrial membrane. Uh, and it uh, drops to near zero level as um, um, antimycin A inhibits complex three and halting mitochondrial respiration. So here we uh, concentrate on the key species, uh, species uh, crucial for complex four operation each represented by specified uh, symbol. For instance, uh, oxygen is uh, in our model is uh, shown by O, uh, proton concentration is shown by R, um, um, proton concentration in the negative part is, is shown by uh, omega, uh, and uh, the, in the positive part it is shown by rho. Uh, as you can see in this diagram, we show the model respiration components in the baseline, uh, in the baseline phase. The green rectangles um, are the key input uh, species required for complex force function, while the blue um, pill boxes represent the component of the ETC that process um, uh, and modify these species. Um, Specifically, cytochrome C re uh, reduction um, by complex one to three is depicted as a black box 
uh, with input C0 uh, in complex four. Uh, the activity of complex uh, four itself is uh, denoted as C4, um, while proton movement through complex uh, five and spontaneous proton translation known as proton leak are represented by C5 uh, and C leak respectively. So using that um, um, baseline model, here we want to uh, design our full model. So this next diagram uh, illustrates the perturbation of um, bioenergetics from the baseline model in A um, to the full model. So um, as discussed in the previous slide, this is the baseline model. And we um, establish uh, the state of our uh, full model using that. Then we introduce oligomycin uh, at T oligo. Um, so oligomycin at the time of oligo injection, uh, inhibiting complex five, which is modeled as the inhibition of um, C5 in diagram B. This perturbation simulates the blockage of um, ATP synthase. Next here, we um, apply FCCP stepwise at various time points, um, like T, FCCP 0 0.25, 0 0.5 to uh, FCCP 1 uh, for four um, successive injections to uncouple complex uh, 5 increasing proton leak flux C leak as shown in diagram C. This step mimics the uncoupling of uh, oxidative um, phosphorylation from ATP synthesis. And finally, we introduce uh, retinol and antimacin uh, A simultaneously, uh, simultaneously uh, at time uh, of inhibit. Um, so, as as uh, at time of time time of inhibition of complex uh, one and disrupt uh, complex three, affecting electron um, delivery to complex five. This perturbation represents a blockage in electron transport within the electron transport chain. So these perturbations allow us to analyze the response of the system under various conditions, uh, providing valuable insights into mitochondrial bioenergetics and function. So by looking at the ev uh, evolution and current state of modeling approaches, uh, in understanding mitochondrial function, we find out that historically, uh, previous models uh, relied on complex uh, kinetic and uh, thermoenergetic dynamics to, sim uh, to simulate mitochondrial process. Uh, while these models shared fundamental principles, they varied in their ability to capture additional intricates such as ionic flux and reactive oxygen species networks. Uh, recent approaches have adopted more focused uh, descriptions to manage com uh, complexity uh, efficiently. And in this context, our model stands out by emphasizing the activity of complex four, a critical component of a mitochondrial respiration, while accommodating typical perturbations uh, encountered in biological systems. Uh, notably, our model employs a phenomenological approach with small dimensionality, enhancing usability without uh, comprising accuracy. Uh, its primary purpose is to provide a robust platform for simulating mitochondrial functioning, uh, incorporating various perturbations, and featuring a user-friendly uh, graphical interface for practical utility. Uh, the experimental data used to validate the model was obtained using the Ouroboros um, Oxygraph 2K, depicting uh, changes in oxygen uh, concentration, which on this graph is shown in uh, dashed uh, blue line, as well as the OCR uh, plotted in um, solid red line over time. These measurements were conducted on cortical mitochondria extracted from C55BL6 mice. The experimental um, protocols involved the administration of various compounds, including 
oligomycin, FCCP, uh, retinol uh, A, sorry, retinol and ant uh, antimacin A, uh, to include specific per perturbations. The data provides valuable insights into mitochondrial function and responds to uh, different um, stimuli contributing to our understanding of bioenergetics uh, process. So uh, after this um, brief um, biological background, now it's time to talk about the mathematical model. Uh, the mathematical model used to simulate mitochondrial function involves four key uh, species, uh, as discussed before, cytochrome C reduce, uh, shown by R, oxygen um, shown by O, function of time, matrix protons omega, uh, intermembrane space uh, protons rho, and all of them, uh, as I said, um, they, are, they are functions of time. The model comprises of uh, several components, including baseline model. Um, the baseline model consists of a system of four ordinary differential equations that describe complex four functioning uh, under normal conditions. Input uh, activities include uh, C0, uh, C4, C5, and c -Lic. Uh, membrane potential modulation uh, influences electron transport chain with proton uh, balance across the inner mitochondrial membrane, omega over rho, uh, serving as a key factor for the model. Uh, complex 1 to 3 input activity, or C0, represent the reduction of uh, cytochrome C, incorporating uh, membrane potential modulation and modeled as an um, enzymatic uh, reaction with um, Michael Menten uh, kinetics. Um, complex four activity or C4 is modeled as an enzyme with activation kinetics where cytochrome C reduced the uh, bimetallic FECU uh, site to enable oxygen uh, reduction. Uh, complex uh, 5 activity, or C5, represents proton uh, flow into the matrix and is adopted from the model uh, proposed by Jane and Matt. Uh, proton leak activity, or C leak, is modeled based on previous literature controlled uh, by parameter P leak. Uh, together, these uh, components provide a comprehensive framework for simulating mitochondrial function under various conditions facilitating, uh, facilitating the, a deeper understanding of uh, the bioenergetic process. So this slide provides an overview of the model calibration process, including details about uh, parameter estimation and optimization. Uh, here's a breakdown of um, the key points. The full model comprises uh, 15 free parameters, uh, while the baseline model has 10, resulting in 6 and 11 degree of freedom, respectively. Initial conditions for the model variables are specified as follows, oxygen, rho, and omega, as you can see. Uh, the full set of estimated parameters denoted as a vector called P, um, including various kinetic and thermodynamic parameters governing mitochondrial function. Uh, parameter estimation is optimized using the mean squared error, uh, as you can see the formula here, uh, as an objective function, which quantifies the discrepancy between um, the simulated and the measured data. Uh, the parameter value domain uh, is explored using the genetic algorithm, employing two parallel population uh, of size 125 with crossover and mutation rates um, accordingly. Uh, calibration interactions are conducted using MATLAB, um, a built-in function called ODE23T um, is uh, used for this purpose, um, with a full model requiring 4,382 um, generations and the baseline model uh, 3,312 uh, generations for the convergence. Uh, the calibration uh, process uh, involves fitting the model to experimental data over a specified duration with the full model calibration and calibrated over 700 seconds. 
uh, using 80 randomized uh, subsamples and the baseline model using 48 subsamples. So this comprehensive calibration procedure ensures that the mathematical model accurately represents experimental observations, uh, enhancing its reliability and predictive capability in uh, simulating the um, experimental data. So here we compare experimental oxygen data represented by the red line um, with simulated data from the model depicted by the black line. This uh, visual comparison allows for assessment of the model's uh, accuracy in replicating the um, uh, experimental observations. The mean squared error is used as a metric to quantify um, the discrepancy between simulated and um, measured oxygen concentration. In this case, the calculated MSC, uh, denoted as EP, uh, is represented as 1.6 um, indicating the average S squared um, difference between simulated and experimental data um, uh, in this figure. A model calibration is performed using the genetic algorithm, as uh, discussed before, an optimization technique that iteratively adjusts model parameters to minimize the MSC and improve the model's uh, fit to experimental data. This uh, iterative optimization process uh, ensures uh, that the model accurate, accurately captures the dynamic uh, of mitochondrial function and adequately represent experimental uh, observations. Overall, the calibration of the model to um, experimental oxygen concentration data validates the model's predictive capability and um, enhances uh, its reliability for simulating mitochondrial behavior under various conditions. Uh, so to check the robustness uh, of the model, we have also examined um, the model by checking its behavior under um, varying initial conditions. Uh, here is a breakdown of the main points. Uh, initial conditions are crucial parameters in experimental protocols conducted using um, um, Seahorse uh, XF24 analyzer and Ouroboros oxygraph. These conditions are carefully set to establish a baseline for mitochondrial function measurement. Uh, altering initial conditions provides a valuable insights into uh, the behavior and limitations of the model. By systematically adjusting these conditions, we can explore how changes in the environment affect mitochondrial activity and function. The baseline model is tested over an extended time, uh, time frame, uh, bigger than 2,000 seconds, uh, without uh, reagents. To, without the introduction of agents. This evaluation helps assess the model's stability and performance under normal physiological conditions. Um, model outputs um, are compared to baseline conditions for various substrates, uh, substrate con concentrations, elucidating how changes in substrate availability impact um, mitochondrial activity and overall system behavior. Adjusting the initial um, level, levels of radius cytochrome C has an um, important effect on the model's activity and the final concentration of uh, key species indicating the sensitivity, uh, sensitivity of the system to changes in the electron transport. Uh, changes in oxygen concentration directly influence oxygen consumption rate and system activity, highlighting the uh, interdependence of oxygen availability and mitochondrial function. Uh, varying proton concentrations affect uh, um, equilibration rates and overall system behavior, underscoring the importance of proton gradients in driving mitochondrial processes. So in the following slides, we will see the model predicts uh, mitochondrial functioning after altering initial conditions. Uh, so as you can see in this figure, this is the 
Altered initial conditions are represented by high and low concentration values, offering a um, comparative analysis of the model's output under different scenarios. In this scenario, we have considered model output with a high initial concentration. Uh, in the next uh, figure, you see um, the results for a low initial concentration of cytochrome C. Uh, despite, as you can see, despite uh, the alterations in initial conditions, the model consistent, uh, consistently predicts mitochondrial functioning, uh, demonstrating its ability to simulate complex biological phenomena under diverse um, circumstances. I want to emphasize again, this was uh, the model with a high initial concentration, and this is the result for low initial concentration. Um, the model interface. As mentioned in the beginning, a GUI is designed for this model using uh, App Designer, um, uh, the current GUI development tool in MATLAB, which provides user with an intuitive and user-friendly interface for interchanging with the model. Uh, the GUI allows users to manipulate parameters and initial values of the model, enabling them uh, to customize simulations uh, according to their experimental designs and research um, questions. It supports the simulation of um, experiment with an arbitrary number of substrate injections uh, and at arbitrary times, offering flexibility in experimental setup and design. An optimization button is uh, included in the GUI, which uh, calculates the objective function for um, optimization using uh, various techniques, including the genetic algorithm. This feature allows user to refine and optimize the model parameters to better fit experimental data. Uh, sensitivity, sensitivity analysis is integrated into the GUI for each biological uh, condition separately, enabling user to assess the impact of parameter variations on a model output and system behavior. The inter interface simulates both experimental and baseline scenarios concurrently, providing user with a comprehensive platform for exploring and analyzing mitochondrial function under different conditions. So here is a figure uh, of the GUI under development. The GUI provides um, operators uh, with an interactive platform for editing parameters and initial conditions uh, of each simulation. Various controls are available within the GUI uh, interface, allowing user to adjust um, setting uh, and input values according to their specific experimental setup and research requirements. Um, upon making changes uh, and adjustments, the user can visualize um, uh, the output of each simulation by clicking at the plot button. Uh, the GUI is designed to streamline the simulation process, making it uh, easier for user to input data, modify parameters, and analyze simulation results. The interface uh, aims to enhance user experience and uh, efficiency by offering intuitive controls and clear visualizations of simulation outputs. Overall, the GUI serves as a, a central hub for conducting simulations, enabling operators to efficiently navigate uh, different settings and scenarios while facilitating data visualizations and analysis. So in conclusion, the mathematical model demonstrates a high degree of accuracy in uh, predicting oxygen concentration levels, aligning closely with experimental uh, measurements obtained from the oxygraph 2 k uh, Under baseline uh, conditions, the model consistently uh, produces stable predictions that closely match experimental data collected from Seahorse XF24 analyzer. Uh, discrepancies of observed between the first version of the model predictions and experimental results in uh, specific uh, conditions was attributed to factors not fully represented in the model, uh, such as proton leak phenomena, which will be taken care of in the revised version of the GUI. 
despite these limitations, the model demonstrates both uh, qualitative and quantitative uh, agreement with experimental observations across a range of conditions indicating its reliability and validity. Uh, robustness testing of the model highlights its cap capability to predict uh, mitochondrial function functioning under uh, varying initial conditions, uh, underscoring its flexibility and utility in exploring different experimental scenarios. So overall, these findings underscore the effectiveness of the mathematical model in simulating mitochondrial respiration dynamics and its potential to contribute valuable insights to the field of bioenergetic research. Uh, so in terms of the future work, we consider continuously refining the model by incorporating um, additional factors and complex interactions to improve its accuracy and predictive capabilities validating the model prediction through comprehensive experimental studies encompassing diverse biological contexts to ensure its robustness and reliability, and exploring the model's versa, uh, versatility in uh, simulating mitochondrial function under various disease uh, conditions beyond Alzheimer, um, Alzheimer's disease. Also, in terms of applications uh, for predicting Alzheimer's disease, we consider uh, leveraging the model to simulate um, mitochondrial dysfunction associated with the pathology of uh, Alzheimer's disease, shedding light on its underlying mecha mechanism, Investiga investigating uh, potential therapeutic strategies uh, aimed to uh, aimed at targeting mitochondrial function based on the insights provided by the model's predictions. Um, and uh, model's predictions with the goal of developing novel treatment approaches. Uh, collaborating with clinicians and researchers to validate the model predictions using clinical data and the patient samples facilitating the translation of research findings into clinical practice and personalized medicine approaches. Overall, these future endeavors and the applications demonstrate the potential of the research to contribute significantly to our understanding of Alzheimer's disease and potentially inform the development of um, effective therapeutic interventions. Uh, in the end, I would like to extend my gratitude to all those uh, contributed to this research endeavor. Firstly, I want to acknowledge the invaluable contribution of Chris Kalonik's master thesis, which served as a foundation for this project. Next, I would like to uh, recognize the ex uh, exceptional leadership of Dr. Uh, Albensi and Dr. Porte, who led the interdisciplinary team with expertise and guidance, ensuring the success of this project. And furthermore, <clears throat> excuse me, I extend my uh, appreciation to diverse team of um, professionals from various disciplines, including biologists, neuroscientists, bioinformaticians, and computer engineers. Uh, special mention goes to Dr. Um, Gafurian. I think she's available in this meeting. Dr. Uh, Jason Fee and Dr. Uh, Sabir Chaudhuri, and several other uh, from San Bonifaz Hospital Research Center, whose expertise and collaboration were instrumental in um, this project. Thank you for um, your attention during this presentation. I hope the information shared was insightful and engaging. And now I would like to invite any questions you may have. Your questions and feedback are greatly appreciated and will contribute to uh, furthering our understanding of the topic. Thank you.